Hey, welcome back. We are jumping back into Apology of Science, Anatomy and Physiology. We are in Module 6, which is talking about the skeletal muscle system. There's a whole bunch of these, 640 in the human body. We're not going to get into all of those. So these, the names of these muscles, they're kind of based on Latin. So you have like sternocleidomastoid, pectoralis major, pectoralis. Um, I believe minor, uh, frontalis, occipitalis, deltoid, um, latissimus dorsi. So they have those Latin based names. And then these muscles, they're named based off of seven main criteria. These are like the muscle size, the muscle shape, the location of the muscle, the orientation of the muscles fascicles, the muscle origin and insertion. Origin is the bone, basically, that the muscle, the more stationary bone that the muscle is attached to, and the insertion is the more active bone that the muscle is, is attached to, because they're attached in two places. And then the last two criteria are the number of heads or origins on the muscle and then the muscle function. So, for example, you have the gluteus maximus that is named on its location and its size. You have gluteus, which tells you that it refers to the backside where the or the buttocks. The maximus tells you that it is the largest gluteus muscle. And then we have also, uh, let's say, the brachialis muscle. Uh, that muscle is is on it's that muscle is in your arm and the term brachium in Latin means upper arm so it's named just for its location but um, of course there are other muscles that are on the arm so that does not work for all muscles that's why they another muscle in your arm for example is called the biceps brachii that muscle has two heads or origins. So it's given the name biceps, which means two heads. So thanks for checking in today, guys.